What's going on guys? My name is Absolutely Blake and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a story time or talk about my life grow up thingy that I'm going to share with you guys. So there's two types of guys in the world. There is the circumcised and the uncircumcised. Now you can make a whole video based on what the differences are and debate on which one's better. I'm not going to get into that. I'm going to go over a few points. Like people say that being circumcised is cleaner, which I can understand is less skin to clean. But then on the other hand, people say that being uncircumcised is better because you have more sensitivity and all that. But Truly, how can you really tell the difference unless you have two penises? Or if it's somebody who got circumcised when they were older and already having sex before they were. Well, I don't know anybody like that, so we can't get a full understanding of which one truly is better, but what I can say is that I'm a part of the uncircumcised group. So today we're gonna be talking about what it was like for me growing up uncircumcised because there was a lot of funny moments and just random shit that was going through my mind as a young person and maybe it could be going through somebody else's. So for my ladies out there, this video is not really directed towards you. You might find it funny. You might find it interesting, I don't know, but for my men out there, here we go. <laughs> So it all started back in 1994, April 4th. I was born with a penis. <laughs> now when I was born, I actually had an issue with me and it only happened about a week or so after I was born. I had like an enlarged intestine. I do not know what it's called. I think it's like plastoris stenosis or something like that. Pretty much I had to get surgery and my mom saw me crying all the time and I was in pain and she didn't want to see me in pain anymore. This is the reason that I never got circumcised when I was a young baby. She thought it was cruel and she wanted to keep me all natural. Now backstory on this, let me let you guys all know that in Canada and United States, I find it's more common to be circumcised than it is to be not circumcised. But over in Europe, it's way more common to be not circumcised, but it's a big thing here. So I was the weird one. <laughs> <laughs> now nothing really came from it because I was young. I didn't know any different I just thought it was normal to be like that where you have to retract the skin <laughs> I, I can't take myself seriously. I feel like a sex ed teacher. Guys, if you enjoy these kind of videos, throw this a thumbs up. Just smash it right now. Help me out. And then I will post more embarrassing stuff like this. And maybe I'll feel less cringy. So pretty much what an uncircumcised penis is, if you do not know, it's where you have extra foreskin and then you have to retract it to go pee or to do anything like that. It's kind of like a protective layer over your penis tip, which is why people say that it actually adds more sensitivity because it's not used to rubbing against boxers or towels or anything like that on a daily basis. My early days are pretty much a blur. It wasn't until I was living in this apartment building, so I must have been in grade one or grade two, so that would be 2001, 2002, which I'm lucky because my grades actually matched up with the year it was. So 18 years ago, I was seven years old, and I remember taking a pee beside my friend who also has a penis, but he was circumcised. We were showing each other to like compare the differences and stuff like that. And then I was a little confused. So I asked my mom and like, I was all worried and stuff. And she kind of like sat me down and gave me an explanation on this and that and that. Nothing of it, but this is the moment that I realized that there's two different kinds. During these next couple years, I kind of thought it would be better to be circumcised because doing research, hearing from other people. So like I said earlier, I felt weird, I felt different. I felt like that was just not a thing. When I started getting older and I was in my teen years, this is where things started to get really interesting and really embarrassing. This was because these are the years that you're starting to experiment with other people and you're starting to show off your toy. So my biggest fear when I was a virgin was that the girls would think my penis was gross because that was just what you were taught when you're growing up. Every single sexual encounter I ever got into, I was like very scared at first to like show it off. I was never this person that you guys see on Instagram or on YouTube where I'm showing my ass, I'm naked around a bunch of people. That was not me. I was the complete opposite. I think it was moving out west that kind of changed that because I didn't really know anybody. I could be whatever I wanted. That was the very first time I took an ass photo was in British Columbia on top of the Anukshuk. And then I started to get less and less embarrassed and then I just didn't give a fuck. But these first couple girls, I was always terrified, shaking. I was like, oh my God, what if they tell everybody? What if I'm that weird person? Which by the way, now my friend group is a 50-50 split. Half of us are, half of us aren't. So I know it's not even that bad. <laughs> <laughs> so before we get too off track here or confused on sexual encounters before I even had sex I had my first blowjob, which is a story time on this channel But that happened and nothing was said nobody was told nobody knew my little secret and me We were one except for that first person I showed when I was like seven so more time goes on I'm still super shy and I still haven't had sex and I remember being in the car once when I was 15 years old Like I remember this day clear. I was in the passenger seat front. My mom was right there We were alone She asked me if I wanted to be circumcised that she would arrange it She would pay for it and I could do it at the age of 15. I said no, because I was too scared of somebody taking a knife to my penis. If that was something that was gonna get done, I would have rather it been done when I was a baby so that I don't remember it now. I'm 15, I'm getting random boners here and there. The stitches are gonna rip, they're gonna hurt, fuck that. I did think about it a little bit after she'd asked me, but I never ended up pulling through. Then I was 18 when she asked me the second time, and by this time I'd already had sex, and that was with one person, by the way. 
Oh no, two, sorry. Whew, I'm a slut. <laughs> <laughs> Two people I had sex with by the time I was 18 and neither of them cared, neither of them said anything, so I was like, okay, whatever. And then my mom asked me again, holy fuck, that was fast. Did you guys keep up? My mom asked me again if I wanted to be circumcised and this time it was a firm, fuck no. I'm cool with what I got. Let's just let it dangle. But that was the last time that she ever asked that. We are au natural down here. Now there are some pros and cons like I mentioned at the beginning and I do kind of agree with the one that it is more sensitive because I remember the very first time that I had been retract and I was wearing boxers, it was like mad sensitive even the shower was like holy fuck but like to a point where it hurt it was not fun over time if anybody else is feeling that same thing it does like get less and less and doesn't hurt anymore so now i can just be retracted wherever whenever and we're all good <laughs> <laughs> There's not really much more memories that I really have that were like embarrassing or anything like that Nobody ever called me weird. Nobody ever said anything So I truly do think that it was never an issue It was just my mindset So I hope if anybody else is out there and is like whoa what the fuck is wrong with me or like what there's nothing wrong with you You're all good. Just let it dangle I'm gonna make a t-shirt called let it dangle anyways I mean now I'm dating somebody from Sweden where over there. It's normal. So we good now <laughs> <laughs> that is it. That is the most embarrassing parts that I can really remember. It wasn't that bad. Just mainly when I was little, I thought that I was weird and I'm not. <laughs> I mean, I'm fucking weird, obviously, but not in that sense. So I hope you did enjoy this video. If you enjoy story time things, hearing about my past, hearing about my life, please leave it a big thumbs up. Like I said earlier, it helps me out a lot. It lets me know that this is what you like. Make sure you leave me comments down below. If you're not shy, feel free to let me know which part of the group you are in. I mean, if you are shy, don't comment it because these comments get wild. And really, it doesn't matter which one you're in. It's just out of curiosity. Go follow me on Instagram at AbsolutelyBlake. And make sure you subscribe for a new video every Thursday and Saturday. Goodbye, Oakley.